Speed tables slow down traffic, creating a safer space for pedestrians. From my perspective, yes, I think it makes foot traffic feel much more confident in the area. Augusta is one of many towns in Maine that uses speed tables as a traffic calming option. They've been in place since I've been working here, which is about 13 years. There's two on Winthrop Street by Sewell Street, and there's two over by Hannaford on Coney Street. And it does significantly slow the speed down through those areas. Despite looking like an obstacle, speed tables have minimal effects on road maintenance. Plowing over a speed table there's really no extra technique. You just slow down, you're cautious of it, and the plow and the wing really does the rest of it, which is why they're designed the way they are. Any piece of equipment that we have with the plow and the wing, it'll float right over. When used in appropriate locations, speed tables only have minimal effect on emergency response time. Our department policy allows for about 20 miles an hour maximum over the speed limit, even in uh, emergency response. And so when we have to slow down for those, we do have to cut our speed back. But in reality, it doesn't really take that much time off of our overall response time. It's, I would estimate, a matter of seconds. From my perspective, I think it is worth it for the downtown areas. For the purposes of reducing the speed of everyday commuters, I think they're appropriate. As far as plowing operations go, there's no reason not to. It doesn't change anything at all. You just have to slow down, be aware that it's there, and that's it. Speed tables are a good traffic calming option, keeping pedestrians safe while not impacting the needs of the community. My big point of advice would be that it's probably gonna feel a little bit of a hindrance at first, but you get used to the location of them and you can modify your response. So I think it overall makes those roads safer.